Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Jurassic World the Game and Jam City as you'll see down there in the bottom right and did we do it? Of course we did! You thought I wasn't gonna die, I bet you did, you were wrong! How dare you not believe in me? Over the weekend there was a tournament, that is right, it is the Carbon Emmys tournament um, and just as a disclosure, uh, since last Monday I've been really ill um, and like two days ago, I recorded Jurassic World Evolution video, and then yesterday, I realized I was like, oh god, I've just done a number on my throat, I can't record. And today, fingers crossed, still a little bit bonged up, as you can probably hear, but we are here to open Carbon Emmys! And there's like so many things that came out that I want to cover. Uh, one of them being, uh, well, I mean, we've got Camp Cretaceous coming up. Uh, Jurassic World Alive was also updated, but you know, we're, we're, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. And there it is, Carbon Emmys, ready to, uh, instant hatch? You know what? We might as well. I've got like 11,000 bugs, and that should be, in theory, oh, okay, enough for me to max this guy. So let's have a look. It's Carbon Emmys, being, of course, the tortoisey thing from Jurassic, Jurassic World Alive. Coming to Jurassic World again, we've seen a lot of dinosaurs coming backwards. We've seen some forwards, but they're coming back mostly. Um, and I think that's because it's a lot easier to take something in Jurassic World Live and bring it into a uh, world than it is the other way around because I think the, the software and the animations and stuff have to be the same in Jurassic World the game. Um, like, you know, all T-Rexes animate the same and stuff, whereas with Jurassic World Live, they can probably just bring over those animations, so yeah, it's a lot easier for them to do that. Plus, if we look at the model this way, look at how gorgeous that looks! That looks amazing! Uh, so we'll have a look. How do you eat? Please be a goat. Oh, that would have been hilarious. <gasps> oh, look! They even made like an ani unique, an animique? A unique animation! Wow, look at that! Dup -ba -dup -ba -dup. Nom, 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 nom. He liked the fishy. Right, there we go. So, at level 10, 1,038 health and 139 attack, so it is definitely going to be a health tank. And, fingers crossed, we should be able to max this guy up. So, with that being said, uh, we need to go to market. Now, how much do you cost? You cost the same amount as a, uh, a Sven codon. Um, are you better? Ooh, ooh. You've got 1,100 extra attack. But 350 less health. Mm, no, it's not better. Attack's always better because, you know, the attacks multiply that sort of thing. But that is not going to stop us from maxing this guy up. So, we're, of course, we're going to take um, advantage of this. Was it the 250 bucks each time? To At least at least we can save because I think it's about 1,000 and odd. Um, and the, the strange thing is, VIP... Oh, a code 19, we've got code 19! Uh, has been, um... Oh my god, I forgot what I was gonna say because I got distracted by code 19. Uh, VIP! That's right! So VIP has actually ran out of, like, monthly rewards. So, it's, it's, it was like, it was coming up to coming soon, maybe like two months ago. I was thinking, mm, okay, are we expected an update? I don't know. But, uh, no update ever came. And... Ludia are now just happy to be like, ah, well, I mean, what can we do? I mean, they surely they could just put an update in that allows you to get more, like, free hatches and stuff. That would be beautiful. Um, or just have, like, a final level. Have it where, you know, this is the final month you'll get a reward, but maybe every month you get a pack or something. Um, but the final reward is something really good. Uh, I don't know, like a, uh, oh god, we got sunlight blaring in. Oh, it's, it's messing with the camera. Um, it, yeah, you could, like, uh, let's say the final reward is, you know, three extra free hatcheries, um, three extra instant recoveries, three extra, you know, whatever. That'd be really good. And hold on a second while I just close the blind. Ah, that's the thing with wind. Also, I forgot to mention, we have, mm, right there, we have a Gaming Beaver hoodies. I have never released a hoodie with just the Game Beaver logo. And we're taking on like a very purpley pink aesthetic, especially since Squid Games. Wow. So you too can bag your own Game Beaver hoodie 
a slash Squid Game cosplay thingy uh, in the description below. Um, we've just released them. In, there is shipping dates specifically for you to get them before Christmas. So I think if you're in the UK, you can order them to like the 15th of December or something to guarantee. And then America or everywhere else is like the 5th of December or something. Something like that. It'll be on the website. Don't worry. Anyway, how about we get into Jurassic World the game, shall we? So, oh, yes, we'll trade that. Uh, I also forgot. I didn't realize that. Uh, do I have enough DNA? I surely were halfway through, right? And it was 7,000. So, yeah, we could buy 10 and it'd be all right. So, hold on. While we quickly just, you know, do the the classic uh, big brain moves, big beaver brain moves in selling our John Hammond statues for loyalty points. I think the Apato, uh, Pato, 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 Saurus uh, skeleton statue uh, sells for the same amount. So, let's see if we get anything more. <clears throat> all right. No. Uh, so yeah, I apologize for any weird noises I make. As you can hear, um, I'm 100% fit and healthy! Da -da -da! Uh, so we'll go into this, the solar greenhouse. Uh, anything- oh, that's expired? <gasps> no! I can't trade it for money! Why- wait, why not? Oh, right, I just sold it. Ah, that's fine. Right, come on. Uh, 10 million food? Ooh, go on then, why not? I've got 50 million. And there, there you go. There's a million already. So I didn't trade for that much. And yep. 1.7 million for 200 bucks. Heck yeah, I'm going to do that. That's like a free carbon emis. We just got back there to speed up. Or at least it was for the VIP. Uh, yes, I'll trade that for bucks. Uh, anything else here? Mm, yeah, not really. Yes. We need the food. Give me food. And a John Hammond statue for more DNA. And I think... We are better off for doing those trades. And while we're here, let's collect from the food. Is that like a million extra? A thousand bucks to upgrade it. Ah, oh, no, it's 300,000. I don't think I really need food that badly, if I'm going to be honest. So, no, I'm all right. And that gives me 1.5 million a day. I think I'm all right. Right, so we've got four carbon emis. We can make a level 30. And remember the golden rule, guys. If you can make a level 20... Make a level 20, especially if it's a hybrid. You'll get your money's worth. So, Carbon Emis. That's four of them. Uh, we... Ooh, 1,600! Oh, God. Okay, so it's five. No! Ah! Oh. Um. Oh, no. It's one of these really bad... Uh, yes! Yes, put on a, put on a, what even is that, a Snuggie? Oh my god. Yeah, put dynamite. Nah, use a flamethrower. Why would you use a flamethrower for a fireplace? Uh, yeah, hammer it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess she dies. I guess her and the baby die. Oh, wasn't that lovely? I swear there needs to be some freaking sort of uh, censorship or not, maybe not censorship, but just some curation when it comes to these app game adverts, because they, they play on this over over dramatized, which is fair enough. Oh, but most of the time it's over sexualized and stuff. It's weird. And kids see this stuff, man. It's really weird. Wait, did I just reset it? Three minutes fifty-eight. Hold on, so three minutes fifty-eight. I go in here, come back out. Oh, it didn't reset it. Okay. Ah, okay, we'll do a code nineteen. Ooh, is that Hatsugopterix? I think it is. I saw you in the Dominion trailer. Yes, I did. Yeah, yes, you did. I know. Da, 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 da. Also, uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who bought uh, one of the ice shakers. Um, I know they were quite expensive. I think it was like $44. Something like that. But trust me, premium quality product. You're going to love it. Um, and if you maybe you don't want to spend that much money, we got hoodies. So there's that. Yes. Oh, look at Beavers. Big up true sellout. It's glorious. But you got to be, you know, we got to make money. God. It's so interesting, actually. Um, I was thinking about this the other day. How um, the transition has changed from, I don't know, the way... Oh, God, another code now. Okay, we'll do this while we talk. Um, the way it has been from sponsors, like from when I started back in... 2014? I mean, I've been around on YouTube. I think my first account was created in 
2006, 2008. Um, so I, I've seen YouTube go through, like, from the very beginning. Uh, like, being inspired by Smosh and their uh, Pokemon um, theme rap, like, redo sort of thing. Um, but I remember a, t a time where if someone had merchandise, they were, like, they were doing it off their own back. They were, you know, printing it themselves and everything. And now going to merchandise that, you know, is made in factories and it's, like, quality checked and stuff. It's crazy. And not only that, sponsorships. There was a time when if a, if a content creator got sponsorships, it was seen as, like, selling out. Um, whereas now it's not. It's like, oh, they got a sponsorship. And now people, they just see it like, oh, it's just a normal thing. I think that's probably because there's adverts everywhere on YouTube now. People are just uh, sort of numb to it. But if they see their favorite creator get a sponsorship, it's like, oh, yeah, he's, he's getting money. Sweet. Okay, he's getting, you know, he can make better content and stuff. Is that another code? Freaking 19. My God. Will you stop? Please. So here we go. Last one. Oh, my God. We're skint. We're skint, guys. And that is a Geordie term. If you don't know, skint means uh, you've got no money. So if you're, if you're American, go up to your mom and say, Mom, I'm skint. She'd be like, Excuse me? Oh, she would say that. She's American. I don't know. What would you say? Uh, well, anyway, she'll have no idea what you're talking about. And that was going to be a plethora of kids going, Man, I'm skint. Oh, dear. Also, can't laugh the normal way I do. Because if I do laugh the normal way I do, I will set off a coughing fit. Which will, in turn, hurt me. So I've got to be, like, very... Yes, that was funny, wasn't it? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Just when it, when I'm when I'm silent, just pretend you can hear my laugh. You, you can probably it's already you've already if you're watching this video you, uh, this far all the way through, you've heard it a million times before. Just open up another video and put it in the in the background. You'll be all right. So that was the last one, I think. Or I could be wrong. No, I think it is because I was skint, wasn't it? Right. Oogie doogie. Woohoo! Let's go feed them all. Get them all to level two. Oh yeah, we got active fuses that we can just use as well. And uh, that won't cost us any books, I don't think, will it? It costs us DNA, but I don't think it costs us books. So there we go. That's a lot of food. I think. We'll, I mean, yeah, we'll be we'll be perfectly fine for food. Look at them go! Yum yum. Right, instant fuse. Yes. Oh, look at it float! Oh, he's so cute. He's like, help me! Look at him. Oh, they both turned back. Wait, 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 wait for him. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, go forward. I'm sure if we do it again, we'll get one. So, what's the difference in color? So, that's a level 10. That's a level 20. Oh, okay. So, it's got a little bit of color on its back. Yeah, look at the one on the right. Like, yeah, help. A tortoise is never supposed to be in the water, is it? And that's another thing. Everyone gets um, tortoise, terrapins, turtles, all confused. I think everyone just calls them turtles. Oh, look. An, an update. Thank you, game. Oh, sorry, should I say, uh, Apple? Alright. So, level 20, 1,778 health and 238 attack. So, again, yeah, we're gonna see it's gonna have loads of health. A bit like it does in Just World Live. It's mainly, um, armor that it has, really. I don't know what it's health like, actually. It might be pretty good. Maybe I need to get that to level 30. Right, instant fuse. So, here we go. So, it only costs us DNA. And another, and so that's a level 20, and that's a level 30. Oh, it goes orange, orange, orange. That's another code 19, isn't it? Oh my god. Bum, 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 bum. Right, okay, so level 30, 2710 health, and 363. Oh my god, it's attack so pitiful. Oh dear. All right, okay, come on then. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Oh, there we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Go on then. Go on in. Give it. And another one, please. Is this the cobalt? No, no. This is a hybrid, I think, isn't it? I don't know what it is. I think it's a common hybrid. Oh, you could say it's a hybrid. Oh, can we, can we get a... Can we get a... No, sorry. Hold no, that what that wasn't it. Where am I? No, there it is. Yeah, thanks guys. Thank you. Woo. 
come on. I could have got it. I could have got it, but I messed up. My bad. Well, we get, we're getting more Ankylosaur DNA. That, that's really what we're here for. And claim that, yes. And claim all of those. Finishing Dominator League, yes. Oh, what I should probably do as well, actually, is collect this. Because it, it, it hasn't, like, managed to... I, I was hoping maybe we'd get another boss, but... The game's like, and we're on 20,000 now. So, you know what? Let's unlock it. Here we go. Salamander. Done and done. Ooh, hold on. Where are the other ones? They're over here. Yes. Oh, my God. He is Mahusiv. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh. It's all in the rainforest. So, you got power-up moves. So, what else can I... Seismic Stomp. Gain two attack points if opposing creature has surviving allies... They split 50% of damage dealt. Ooh, and the other one. Uh, swap attack power for one turn. Oh, power and HP for one turn. Interesting, interesting. Ah, okay. But I think the best one's reinforce. Because if you do that five times, you've got like 99% armor. So you will not die. Um, oh, for God's sake. I'm not, uh, what is going on? There's just so many of these guys. Everyone's caught the code 19. Oops. You know what? If I was going to fail one. Okay, guys. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready to pay attention to this? What was the nickname I gave this dinosaur? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, that wasn't it. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm doing this like off the bat. No, it's not that one either. Damn it. No, it's not, it's not that one. It's not Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm failing. Oh, God, never mind. Okay. I was supposed to put in the, the thinking music, but I've completely messed it up. Um, yes. So you got five seconds. Five, four, oh, three, two, one. Did you get it? All right. The answer is flamethrower. Yeah. Did you remember that? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's too much for stuff. It's fine. No, it, was, it wasn't one of the most catchiest ones, like Pecky Eyes. Everyone loved that one. Or Doost. Uh, so, now that we've unlocked the salamander, there's no extra mission. Oh, okay. Well, we have 8,000 DNA ready to unlock the next one. And we should be able to unlock that one pretty quick. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I just want to kind of save it up and level up something else. So, where were we? We were leveling up Carbonemus before we keep on being interrupted by freaking level, uh, whatchamacallit. So, here it is at level 30. Um, yeah, I think we read its stats, so let's fuse it the final time to make a level 40. And it has a spike on its head. Oh, lovely. Just make sure I am recording. We're all good. Okay, level 31 and level 40, 3,834 health and 514 attack. Oh, it kind of has a shell of Amolia. Mamolia, whatever it is from uh, Jurassic World, the game. Oh, Jurassic World Live, sorry. Hey, look at it there. So cute. Right. So, let's look at some facts. A giant turtle with its 5.5 foot long shell lived at the same time as other giant reptiles such as Titanoboa. Not a good time for it. Maybe they didn't coexist, though. We'll find out. Next one. The Carbonemus name means coal turtle. Coal? Yeah. Co coal? Yeah, I think it's called. Because the first fossil was discovered in coal mine in Colombia. Ah. Uh, the ridge on the upper shell suggests that Carbonella's neck was too long to retract fully. So it tucked its head on the side. Oh, head to the side. Ooh, like that. Ooh. And more books and stuff. The skull remains, uh, skull remains suggest that Carbonemus's jaw was strong enough to bite through armored crocodiles. But the fossil record is inconclusive. Ooh. All right then. But there we have a level 40 Carbonemus. So... What do we want to do with level 40? Of course, we want to test it out and see where it fits it. Uh, fits it. Fits in our roster of glacier creatures, I guess. Right. So, we could do modded as well. Let's have a look at Mesozoica. Where is it? Well, it's not as good as VIP. Oh, no. Hold on. There it is. Level 40. So, 3,834. It is a cavern. Oh, I didn't even check. Is that good? Ooh, I've got two of my best ones are cavernous creatures anyway. Um, it would have been better if it was savannah, maybe? Huh. Okay, right. What we're going to do, we're going to do a modded battle with this. 
We need to win model battles, so maybe we don't have to. But anyway, uh, let's get Cenozoic. Um, now, what's the best thing to do? I think it was to put it in first. So put you in first. And then we'll go to Jurassic and put in these two creatures. Uh, Nullify is the best one to do for this, I think. Nullify. And then uh, it's something like this. So 500 health, which is a lot. Or 100 attack. If we put up the attack, that'll make it pretty decent. We could give it a thousand extra health. Uh, what about this? 15%. That's only 300. Maybe four. Eh, it's close. It's about 500-ish. I think. Yeah, it's just it's just above 500. So what about the attack? 10% attack. So that's only 50 attack. So we, instead of 50, we can give it 100. Let's go. Here we go. Carbonemus modded. Let's see what it can do. Oh, yes. Nothing has weaknesses. Have they changed this ballerina? No, they haven't. Okay. So, let's see its attacks. I'll be interested to see what its uh, level 7 to 8 attack is. Ah, uh, yes. You think you can lower my attack? No, you can't. <laughs> Die, yes. And now I'll get extra attack. Beautiful. Wait. Why is my attack back to normal? Or is it? I don't think it is. Why? He distracted me. I nullified it and it still worked. What the hell? God damn it. Oh, he's swapping. Oh, will I get more attack now? Yes. Yeah, see, the nullify didn't work there. That was weird. Bloody yeah, fix your game or jam city now. Fix your game. Uh, Can I kill him in two hits? It's 1,400. 1, can I get... Will it round up and make that extra? Yeah, let's give it a shot. I don't think it was. I think it was 1,700. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, still a lot of damage to do. Let's see what Shinosaurus does, shall we? Oh, it swaps. Oh, it wants to get my attack down. Which will work, even though I nullify it. Apparently. Oh, nullify the distraction. Oh, will I get my 700 attack back? No! Oh, thank you, game. Right, so I'm going to go for reserve here. Wow, they've got decent attack. I want to get to that level 1 common, though. That's what I need to get to. Just copy my tactic. Clever bot. Right, okay. Now, it might have had one reserve or one block, I think. So, one, two. Would have killed. Oh, no, it wouldn't have. Uh, we'll go for that, and then I'll, I'll go for a block now. So, it's four attack animation. Damn! So, that we've seen one to two, three to four. We've got five to six, and seven to eight. Now, I don't know if we're going to see seven to eight. Oh, sorry, five to six. We'll, go, we'll definitely see seven to eight. I'll save up for that one. So, let's see what he does here. Oh, dear. Oh, this is dangerous. He might kill me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, Carbon Emerson has died. Oh, God. Okay, so we're just going to leave because we've lost. So, we'll, we'll reopen the game. You know, if the iPad decides to pick up my thumbs because I am clicking on it. Yes. Oh, we can scroll. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. We have to close it proper. Okay, and then we'll go back in. Brilliant. It's weird because on my phone, if I close um, a battle, I think it just it goes, up, oh, disconnected. But on my iPad, it's like, nah, you're fine. So there's obviously like two different builds for the game. Well, good news is we do have a speed up for free, I think. So if we just click on him, instant recovery. Yes. And then we'll go to... Oh, oops. Oh, I've done the wrong one. I want to go modded. No, that's not the modded. Is it? Oh, no, that is the modded. I'm so confused. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Right, so that one. And then those two. Right, so... Nullify... You know, I think we just got unlucky. I think we got unlucky. Do, do we want extra? I mean, we would have survived... If we'd had extra health, but I think I think extra attack is just better. So we'll go for that. Let's have a look. What we're gonna be up against. Uh really easy. Wow. That's way easier. Why was it like I had two creatures at 400 attack before? And now I've got only one creature with 400 attack. Game's going easy on me. I like it. I like it. 
Oh, yeah. Oh! Huh. Maybe I could have survived. I mean, I lem lemma 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 with 100 attack, but it only had like 20 health, so probably not. So we'll go for reserve. If I kill it, I've won, basically. And I want to see his win animation, too. But we'll see if we can go for the 5 to 6 and 7 to 8 animation with this one, too. See what he does. Okay, he goes for 1. Out of his 2. So he could have 3 next to him. He could have 3. Um, right, okay. No, he's only going to have 2. So I can go for the 5 to 6. I can. At this point, we'll see. Look at that thing. My god. It's like a little mountain. Chisayama. Yeah. Right. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to go for reserve. Right, let's see the five to six animation. Oh, it's just a bite. I think the, so the first one was a neck, neck like hit. Uh, three to four was a shell, shell slam. Five to six was a nibble. So what could it do for the seven animation? A stomp? Stomp seems like the, the way to go. Uh, so you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go all out, kill it for another another bite. And this time, because it's only got 16, I'll go for four reserves and uh, just see what we can do. I don't even know what that does. 50% damage dealt on first attack received. Oh, okay, it nullifies it. Oh no, it goes for three. Oh no, I might die. Right, let's go for four reserves. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's go. Let's see. What can we do? Right. I really hope it's something like it retracts into its shell, spins around and goes for it. But I don't think it will be. Let's have a look. I think it'll be a stomp. My money's on a stomp. I knew it. It's like a stomp. Oh my god. Well, it's kind of a stomp, but then a, a plethora. A flurry of bites. Look at it. Yes, I win. Well done, Carbonemus. Now, after all that, what do we get? 20 bucks worth. And out of it, we get... Whoa, not bad, actually. Arguably not that bad. All right, then. Well, if you've enjoyed that video, guys, of Carbonemus Showcase, leave a like. And until next time, when I hope I'm a lot better, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. Oh,